Great minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, small minds discuss people, with the new day comes new strength and new thoughts, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams, a woman is like a tea bag, you can't tell how strong she is until you put her in hot water, if life were predictable it would cease to be life, and be without flavor, freedom makes a huge requirement of every human being, with freedom comes responsibility. For the person who is unwilling to grow up. The person who does not want to carry his own weight. This is a frightening prospect. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Do what you feel in your heart to be right, for you'll be criticized anyway. You'll be damned if you do, and damned if you don't. It is not fair to ask of others what you are not willing to do yourself. Never allow a person to tell you no who doesn't have the power to say yes. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You are able to say to yourself, I live through this horror. I can take the next thing that comes along. The giving of love is an education in itself. You must do the things you think you cannot do, in the long run, we shape our lives, and we shape ourselves. The process never ends until we die. And the choices we make are ultimately our own responsibility, it isn't enough to talk about peace. One must believe in it. And it isn't enough to believe in it. One must work at it, you have to accept whatever comes and the only important thing is that you meet it with courage and with the best that you have to give. It takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan. I once had a rose named after me and I was very flattered. But I was not pleased to read the description in the catalog, no good in a bed, but fine up against a wall, people grow through experience if they meet life honestly and courageously. This is how character is built, probably the happiest period in life most frequently is in middle age. When the eager passions of youth are cooled, and the infirmities of age not yet begun, as we see that the shadows, which are at morning and evening so large, almost entirely disappear at midday, happiness is not a goal, it is a byproduct, since you get more joy out of giving joy to others, you should put a good deal of thought into the happiness that you are able to give. Remember always that you not only have the right to be an individual, you have an obligation to be one, we are afraid. To care too much. For fear that the other person does not care at all, justice cannot be for one side alone, but must be for both. I believe that anyone can conquer fear by doing the things he fears to do, provided he keeps doing them until he gets a record of successful experience behind him. When life is too easy for us, we must beware or we may not be ready to meet the blows which sooner or later come to everyone, rich or poor. Understanding is a two-way street, life must be lived and curiosity kept. Alive. One must never, for whatever reason, turn his back on life, autobiographies are only useful as the lives you read about and analyze may suggest to you something that you may find useful in your own journey through life, one's philosophy is not best expressed in words, it is expressed in the choices one makes, and the choices we make are ultimately our responsibility, I'm so glad I never feel important, it does complicate life. When will our consciences grow so tender that we will act to prevent human misery rather than avenge it? Friendship with oneself is all important, because without it one cannot be friends with anyone else in the world, old age has deformities enough of its own. It should never add to them the deformity of vice, when you cease to make a contribution, you begin to die. In all our contacts it is probably the sense of being really needed and wanted which gives us the greatest satisfaction and creates the most lasting bond.